design beyond your understanding. There is something that you can't figure out, and therefore what you have to do is to trust. The statue of the Pietà is an icon of that kind of trust. There were things that Mary pondered in her heart, as Wendy said so beautifully at the beginning of the Mass, and that we have to ponder too, but knowing that we'll never come to a complete understanding, at that point God's designs are beyond our knowing. Why is it that God, in order to save us from our sins and to conquer death, became incarnate, went through the consequences of sin, died himself in a terrible way that brought anguish to his mother's heart and to everyone who participates in the sufferings of Christ. Why was that the way that God has chosen? We don't really know. And yet we trust that this was the only way because it's the way that his infinite love demanded. There is a wisdom of self-sacrificing love that every parent knows, that everyone who has lost a loved one knows, that everyone who has given himself for the country or for a great cause knows. There's a wisdom of self-sacrificing love that we can't put into law. It's beyond it. That we can't put into equations. It's beyond it. But it's in our heart in such a way that we have trust and confidence in all times. That God is with us and that in the end all will be well. This was the worst of times when the Blessed Virgin Mary received her son into her own arms. And if you look at Michelangelo's statue, you don't see a 50-year-old woman which is what Mary must have been if Jesus died when he was 33. You see a 20, a 19-year-old girl, the same girl who received Jesus into her womb at the word of God through the power of the Holy Spirit. Once again, she receives him. It is as if Michelangelo wanted to put together the Annunciation and the Passion and say, in the wisdom of God, it's all one. The sacrifice began with the word made flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary. And it ends here, at the foot of the cross, with the crucified Jesus in her arms. And he remained in her heart, torn as it was, but also a heart full of trust, full of a sense that here is where a God who loves us beyond our every imagining wants us to be, and here is where we must be. God's providence is something that we count upon because God's love is in our heart and builds trust. This is what we enter into tonight. Personal understanding and personal trust. And this is what, as we bless this statue of the Pietà tonight, I hope will be in your hearts and will be a source of blessing for Holy Family Parish and for this region, which will not come to your parish church because with typical Holy Family Parish generosity, you have made it available to others. May it during these weeks, these months, among you, strengthen your faith so that you have the wisdom of God in your mind and deepen your trust so that you have the love of God in your heart. May this be a true time of blessing for you and for our entire diocese. Because you welcome this statue, I congratulate you and thank you with all my heart. God bless you. Heavenly Father, may your children who have provided this statue of Mary and your son together know her protection and trace in their heart the pattern of her holiness. Bless them with faith and hope, with love and humility. Bless them with strength in hardship and self-respect in poverty. Bless them with patience in adversity and kind-heartedness in times of plenty. May they search for peace, strive for justice, and realize your love as they pursue their journey through life toward your heavenly city, where the Blessed Virgin Mary intercedes as mother and reigns as queen. All this we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
let's uh, thank you for taking a few uh, moments here to spend with us. Could you tell us your personal feelings about uh, the Pietà? Well, the Pietà is a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, who loves us and we love her in return. At a particular moment, uh, deep sorrow in her own life when she received her son who was crucified. And uh, while she knew that he was called to suffer, still when you actually go through suffering, it makes a huge difference. So my prayer around this statue is that all those who have suffered uh, will have the confidence to turn to the Blessed Virgin and know that she presents her son to them and uh, offers them uh, his love. So it's a very important statue in our history, the history of art, and now also in the history of this parish. So I'm very grateful to the Holy Family Parish for welcoming it.